Good morning and happy Sabbath. It's Janice Swope. I'm back with you again from Abney Chapel Church in Fayetteville. And thank you so much for joining me again this morning for today's devotional reading, The Divine Guidebook in Worship. Today's scripture is from 2 Timothy 2.15, which simply says, Study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Parents are to study, they are to know the Bible, they are to strengthen their children's love for the Bible through family worship. So how do we go about igniting this love for the Bible in our children? It begins with us. We must set and we must be the example for our children. We have to have a devotional life. What do our children see at home? Do they see us studying and reading God's word? Do they hear us quoting scripture? If our children don't see these things, do you think they're going to do this on their own? More than likely, probably not. God's precepts must be in the parents' hearts. Deuteronomy tells us that we should teach them diligently. It says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them. When you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Psalm 78, 5-7 says, For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. So it's a generational thing. You teach it to your children, then your children teach it to their children, and it goes on and on and on. But it starts with you, the parents. You must do it. An important takeaway from today's reading I would like to share, it says, parents should take time daily, not just on Sabbath, not every other week, but daily for Bible study with their children No doubt it's going to require effort, it's going to require planning, and it's going to require some sacrifice to accomplish, but the effort will be richly repaid. Family worship is the way to expose and keep the word before your children. Have a family worship that is enjoyable to you, and you're going to have an enjoyable time with you, the Lord, and your children. Read, pray, sing, memorize scripture, do Bible games, allow the children to have a part, even allow them to plan the family worship. Whatever you do, whether it's your first time or your 100th time, anything you do is better than nothing. But most importantly, you must be consistent. In closing, Quiet Little Talks About God an open Bible in our homes and precious times of prayer will instill in our children a desire to know God, which may or may not spring to life until later years, but wherever their lives take them, whether down a rough rebellious path or one of godly love and compassion, they know deep down that they will always have Jesus to turn to because the seed would have been planted by you. Let us pray. Most kind and heavenly Father, we are just so thankful for another Sabbath day. And we pray, Father God, that the parents will take the time to study the word with their children so that they will know of your law and your principles and what is required for them and just how much that you love them. Help them to make time in their daily schedules to have family worship with their children, not just once a week, but daily so that they may learn more about thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Sabbath.